After I made my Amubox software setup tutorial for the Dream Color Lightbox, Freddy left a comment that he was having issues with his LED lights freezing when using Windows Explorer. This question caught my eye because I had a similar situation when using Chrome when I first set up my Ambibox software. Now, without extra information about when it occurs and what other applications might also be having problems, it's difficult to diagnose the exact cause. But we can talk about reasons why lights might freeze, and I'll propose a, a theory as to what your problem might be, and hopefully you can comment back and let us know if this resolved your issue. You see, most RGB lights simulate the color white, which by the way, Windows Explorer is, as is Chrome, by default at least, and it simulates white by lighting up all three of its LEDs, red, green, and blue, all at the same brightness, all at the same time. Therefore, since it has to light up all three LEDs, white pulls the most power through your strip. It is possible that your power supply has insufficient amps to deliver the power being requested by the RGB strip. The first thing we wanna do before we start playing around with any of the software is just to take a look at our, heart, at our RGB strip and make sure that it's hooked up correctly. In your case, Freddy, it probably is since the issue's only happening with one particular application. In my situation, I had the right angle brackets to provide sharp 90 degree turns, and I did have a small issue with one of my strips not sitting perfectly aligned. Although in retrospect, I'm not sure that caused the problem, but it could definitely cause issues with seeing the wrong colors. So let's take a look at the software and let's see if we can identify settings that might be associated with the problem both you and I experienced in the past. If we go to our intelligent backlight displays within the Ambibox software, and we move over to the additional configuration of zones tab, we're going to see two different sliders on this screen that adjust brightness. The first is on the left under the capture zone section. Right here, we see the slider for brightness, and then on the second side on the right, under the general setting zones, we see general brightness here, and there's a slider as well. What I'm going to ask you to do, Freddie, and anyone else having a similar problem, is to take your brightness slider for both the capture zones and the general settings and slide them all the way to the left, like this one is here under capture zones one. Make sure before you move the brightness toggle that you click for all zones. Otherwise, you'll only be adjusting the brightness for one specific LED, as noted up here, capture zone one. Let's slide it all the way to the left, which in this case is 30 for me. And then we'll take our brightness and move it all the way down to 30 as well. Keep in mind that for every profile you've already created, you may need to go and reduce your brightness. In this case, just do it on one profile, click Save Settings, and go to Windows Explorer or Chrome or whatever application you specifically are having problems with and test it. It may take some time if in fact the problem is associated with power supplies when the white LEDs are lit up and they're very bright, they pull more power than when they're duller. Don't worry, you may not have to use the lowest brightness setting with your lights, but we wanna give it the, the highest probability of success by lowering the brightness all the way down. Once you've done that and you've tested it, either you're still having problems or the problems are gone. If you're still having problems, I suspect that we need to go back and look at your hardware again. It may be worth trying a different RGB strip, or it may be worth uh, using the Profiles tab under the More Settings option and going to the number of zones and reducing the number of zones 
to one, two, three, a low number. That way it's only having to power a couple of lights and then putting something white near those lights and letting them sit there. Keep doing that, expanding further and further to see if you can identify a specific LED light where the problem originates. This doesn't tell us exactly what the problem is, but the, there could be an issue with power supply going beyond that, L, that LED, or there may be some trauma or some damage to the RGB strip that you didn't notice originally, but on closer inspection helps you identify the problem. Once, once you've solved it, or assuming I should say, if you solved it by lowering the brightness, you can go ahead and start bringing the brightness tabs back up. For me, I really like having the general brightness or somewhere in the 60 range, somewhere between 66, 60, in that area. Anything brighter, it just, it, it causes problems for me in large white areas and anything less, it's just a little dull. But honestly, the Ambibox software and the lit up RGBs is such an immersive experience, I can't imagine not using it. And I'd probably be happy having the brightness all the way down more than I would be completely removing it. Anyways, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. And if anyone else thought this was helpful, let us know as well. If this situation didn't fix it for you, let us know, and maybe we can figure out an alternative solution for your problem, because if you're having it, there's a good chance someone else is too.